guys what is going on beautiful people beautiful people motivational t here i'm back with another video um hopefully this tuesday has been beautiful for you and you guys are going out and striving and chasing uh after what is yours rightfully so what is yours hopefully you guys are chasing after it and you're taking it and you're seizing the moment that you're not just uh writing your goals down and, and, and dreaming about them, but that you're actively going out there and chasing it and achieving them and grabbing them. Take what is yours, <laughs> rightfully so. So uh, real quick guys, before I hit out of here, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys today. Some motivation for you. Uh, we made it to another day. It's a beautiful day out because you're alive, you're up, you're moving. And um, here we go. Look here at my notes. So I have a question for you. Um, and I want you guys to be honest on this one. Um, no punches held back. I want you guys to sit down and be honest with yourself and think about this. Uh, what is holding you back from your purpose? What is stopping you from, from becoming the best version of you? Uh, that could be vices in your life, um, something in the way that's holding you back. Uh, and I'm going to be transparent here. I'm going to be very transparent with you guys on this one, like always. Um, so for me personally, uh, I've always troubled. I've never had troubles with like a, uh, addiction to alcohol or drugs or, or different things like that. Um, my thing has always been women. Like, I love women to the point to where I would be losing sleep for work. Um, I would go in, into work uh, a, a shell of who I am, you know, and not giving my all um, because I was out the night before hanging out with, with, with this woman and knowing that I have to chase my purpose the next day, knowing I have to wake up early to pursue um, things that I want out of this life. And man, I'm still learning from it today. I've gotten a lot better with it, but I started to realize um, that, man, I'm losing a lot of time here. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of energy into these different women that I could be putting into something like this, into something that I care about, to something that I'm passionate about. And it's like, no more, no more. I have to be completely honest with myself here. I have to sit down and reevaluate what I'm doing with my time. We all have 24 hours in a day. We all have 24 hours in a day. And we have to utilize that time wisely. We got to be honest. We got to be honest with ourselves. What are we doing? What could I have done more of within these 24 hours of this day? What could I have done? And I found that I lost a lot of my time and energy because I was over here hanging out with this girl. I was trying to impress this girl. You know, I'm, I'm hanging out with her all night. Instead of getting the rest I need, planning out my day for the, planning out my next day, excuse me, you know, and getting the proper nutrition, all these things that I, I was missing because I was giving them, I was giving my time and attention to something foreign, to something that I shouldn't even been focusing on. And and us as men, um, I know I'm not the only one that that has this issue. I know I'm not the only one that has suffered with this and is actively working uh, on um, changing this. I was having a conversation with my friends today about it. And um, it really, man, it, it changed the way I looked at things. It changed the way that I, I looked at myself. And it was a wake up call, you know? I was like, man, these guys are right. Um, and like I said, I'm not perfect on here. I'm not perfect. I'm not bringing this, this information or trying to motivate you from a false place. Um, I'm coming from the heart with this. Things that I have suffered with, things that I have learned from, 
I want to put this out so you guys can learn from it and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes. Hopefully that this, this content will help motivate you. Hey, look, man, this is what he did. I'm not going to do the same thing. Or, hey, this is what he's done and it's helped him. Maybe I can uh, implement that into my life and uh, reap the benefits from that as well. But, man, I, it, it's definitely been uh, a lifestyle change in the fact of instead of giving my time and affection and energy to them and start and when, when I started focusing on myself and putting more time into myself and my career, my goals and my ambitions, uh, so much more has come out of it. So much more has come out of it. And I want you guys to realize that it's not too late. And it's not too late. I was looking at a goal uh, at a um, at this Facebook group. It was a stat. And it's a fighter that I um, I follow. His name is... I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, MMA or UFC in particular. But there's a, there's a fighter, Yo Romero. He just got cut from the UFC. He just signed with Bellator. But... He started his MMA career at 34 years old. Mind you, he was a decorated wrestler. You know, he's had all these different accolades before he started MMA. And Jose Aldo, who's had, who knows, 30 plus fights, is this, was the same age <clears throat> uh, now, right now, that Yo Romero was when he first entered. So um, if you guys know anything about Yo Romero or MMA, or UFC, Yo Romero, he went on to have, I believe it was three different title fights in his 40s, guys, in his 40s. If this man at 42 and plus years old was able to realize, you know, uh, his dream. I won't say dream because he didn't win the title. But if he was able to put himself in that position at 42 years old, at the highest level, getting punched and kicked and kneed and elbows in the, in the face. There's no excuse that you guys can't do the same thing with your life. So I, I want you guys to not get discouraged and to realize that whatever it is that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you, you can change it. You can fix it. You can change it right now. It's not too late. It's not too late, guys. Stay motivated. Stay active. Put that work in and chase those dreams go out there and take back what is yours rightfully so <laughs> oh man i love you guys so much and thank you for your time and i'm out of here until the next video peace is your boy motivational t and i'm out